Good day and welcome to a short explanation of how to mute your microphone using a keystroke rather than uh, using a mouse and flicking around um, you know, through the audio settings or going into each program and setting it. So there are three ways to do this um, that are common these days. One is to get a keyboard that, or, a, or a device, but usually a keyboard that has a mute button on it. Now unfortunately the mute button on most keyboards actually relates to the inbound audio, not your outbound uh, uh, you know, audio from your microphone. So you're going to have to check that, but take a note there are a few keyboards that do have that, that do have an actual mute uh, microphone mute button. Uh, so that's one way to go. Another way to go is a piece of software called Auto Hotkey. Uh, and Auto Hotkey is a great little tool. It creates, um, you can just Google it. It's A U T O H O T K E Y, Auto Hotkey. And it will um, create, a, basically, it's a macro recorder. And it does a wonderful job. It creates all kinds of things. However, it's a lot more complex than what you probably are looking for. So uh, there's a great little tool that's free uh, called Mute Mic. So you can see here I've got uh, Mute Mic, or Mic Mute, I should say. So just Google it, and then go to um, uh, SourceForge to pull it down. And um, let's pull it up here, download it, um, and um, let's get to installing it. So um, let me show you uh, one thing first. Um, uh, I have a little uh, script here set up to show us uh, some options. So here are the options if you want to push it out uh, quietly, and in my case, uh, silent. Um, I don't know what the difference is between silent and very silent. Uh, I tried silent. It didn't require a reboot. It didn't have any pop-ups. It didn't have any dialog boxes. So I think that these are simply uh, generic messages that the uh, compiler that, this, uh, comp that these guys were using have. But in fact, silent and very silent, I think in this case, are the same thing. So. Um, so I just use slash silent. But uh, to install it without uh, being silent, let's just roll. And uh, basically, it's a click next install. So um, there's really not much to it. So launch mute mic. There we go. Now take note, if you're using security software like Carbon Black, Carbon Black will block it. So you need to go in and whitelist uh, white this executable or this path, which is just C program files uh, mic mute. Um, so let's uh, go to the software. Now uh, let's go start it up again. So I'll click start and mic mute. And there it is. Now, uh, if you double click on it, it will come up and uh, you can go into here. And really the settings that I've changed are check for updates on start. This is a uh, software from you know a bunch of years ago. There are no updates to it. So why have a check? And I wanted to turn auto run on. I want it to start automatically. I don't want it to start muted, although I could. The notifications are just default audio sounds. They, they're fine. Uh, I wouldn't screw with them. Um, and uh, set up shortcuts. So this is just that. What, is, what shortcut do you want? In my case, I don't want to screw around with the combination of keys. I just want to do F1. So F1, that's it. So now, watch this. I'll just count to 10. I'm going to click OK on this. And I'm going to count to 10 and uh, press the little mute mic, and you'll see what happens. So 1, 2, 3. Seven, eight. So there you can see there that it works just fine. Um, this is Windows 10 1803, uh, so quite a current build for 2019. Um, and uh, yeah, it seems to be working just fine. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye bye.